Hello, stock investors. I'm Jerry Romine coming at you from Bangkok, Thailand. And today I thought I would shoot from a different angle so you know I'm not in a jail cell. Next week I'll be in Phuket enjoying beautiful beaches and some fruity drink with an umbrella in it. But I digress. Meme stocks have gone absolutely crazy. And yesterday AMC nearly doubled, hitting all time highs, and GME was up 13%. Times are crazy, and the opportunity of a lifetime is not over yet. In today's video, we're going to focus on AMC and answer three questions. Number one, why it's not too late to get into AMC. Number two, how to use the charts to make intelligent decisions and avoid FOMO. And number three, when to take profits on AMC. There's a lot of FOMO on AMC and today I'm gonna to show you how to avoid FOMO and use technical analysis to make calculated investing decisions. I do wanna stress that the AMC short squeeze is more like gambling than investing, so only play it with money that you can afford to lose. If you're already an AMC, or you want to be in, then hang on because I think you're going to love this video and I'm going to give you a strategy you can use for AMC to make things much easier. Let's kick things off today with a success story on AMC from yesterday. Weeks Havoc made $15,000 and here's what he said. Without that chart set, I wouldn't have made that $15,000 today. Thank you. I'm afraid to show you the charts that I was using before because I don't want you to laugh. Once the green arrow came on, I rode that baby. These are real profits made yesterday, and today I'm going to show you the chart setup and how we use it to make bank. All of the indicators are free, so there's nothing for you to buy or anything like that. Of course, if you want to take your investing to the next level, join my Patreon if you want to receive our daily hot stocks and trade alerts. And last but not least, if you appreciate my videos, please comment and like so the YouTube algorithm can show this to more folks that align with my no hype videos and teaching people how to become better investors. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. All right, let's get started with some short interest data. Firms are required to report short interest twice monthly and our last report date was May 14th and we should see the next update published on June 9th. Number one, the current AMC short volume is 95 million shares and number two, 21% of AMC stock has been shorted. That is a phenomenal number. This means as the price goes higher that 21% of the investors or institutions that shorted the stock are losing money. Yesterday, AMC was up 95%, so short sellers are getting killed right now and to close their position, short sellers have to buy the stock which drives the price up even higher. Our first question to answer today is why it is not too late to get into AMC even at these crazy record high prices. The crazy thing is this short squeeze party is just getting started and according to Yahoo Finance the AMC shorts are hanging tight and the hedge funds have increased their short positions for the ninth straight week. According to Yahoo on Wednesday, the percentage of shares outstanding sold short were 20% and they only dropped 1% yesterday when the stock doubled in price. This is insanity, so hang on because shots have been fired and neither the apes or the hedgies have even flinched. Now that we've answered the first question for why it is not too late to get into AMC, let's jump into the charts and cover how to use technical analysis to make intelligent decisions and avoid FOMO. We're now looking at the last short squeeze on AMC on the daily chart. And what I want you to pay attention to in just a second is this volume right up here at the top. Now, the first thing we notice is everything happened pretty quick. Here, the stock was trading right at $3. In a matter of a few trading sessions, it shot all the way up to over $20. And then it came down very quickly and it was back down to five. But the real important thing is this trading volume. On our heavy trading volume day, which is this big blue bar right here, it went over 1.25 million shares. That's how high the volume was and this was the short squeeze with the big run up. Now let's take a look at the overall daily chart and what do we see? We've got the last short squeeze right here and what I want you to pay attention to is the volume. When the short squeeze happened, the volume shot up. If we look at our current short squeeze right here, things are going up in a more normal fashion where volume has been increasing but we haven't had the crazy volume where it doubled and I'm expecting this current short squeeze to be a much higher volume than the previous one. So so we definitely want to watch the volume. Next, let's take a look at the three minute chart. And that's what I use whenever I'm day trading this stock. 
We're now looking at the three minute chart on AMC and I wanna go over this chart setup and this is the same setup that Wreaks Havoc used to pull down $15,000 yesterday on this movement right here. Now, unfortunately, I missed this movement because I'm in Thailand right now adjusting to the time zone. So I actually went to sleep after the market opened when I woke up at the very end of the day to trade and I saw this. Well, let's just say I was really disappointed because I missed out on a really big movement and a lot of money, but hopefully I'll come back and make it up today. So here's our setup. First off, we've got this blue line and this is the EMA 20. And what you need to know about this is this EMA automatically adjusts and it's based on each of these different candles, which is our time frame, which right now is three minutes. So if we go to a five minute time frame that automatically adjusts daily, you get the idea. Next, we've got this red line right here and this is a 50 EMA and this doesn't come into play whenever I'm day trading. Then when we come down to our PMC indicator, this is a really big one. And what we're looking for is this bright green line and the bright blue bars, and we want them to be over that zero line. So this is the really big movement that we had yesterday. And then when Reeks Havoc talked about, when he saw that green arrow, he just simply got in and he wrote it. This is the exact green arrow that he was talking about. And then on the MACD, the green arrow is a MACD crossover, and we're looking for this to be above the zero line. And that's our signal to get in. And then we just simply write it out. We wanna write it as long as we're in these bright blue bars from a day trading perspective. And let's take a look at what this movement was. When he got in on this green arrow right here, the stock was trading at $40. Then it went all the way up to $72.62. So we're just simply looking to ride these green zones right here when they coincide with this PMC indicator and everything is above the zero line. And one last thing, we wanna make sure that our entry signals, when we get into the stock, I like for the price to be above that 20 EMA. That's really important. So each of these other buy signals that I have, this is whenever I would load up further on the stock and in, into that position. What else can I tell you on this? Well, we're using Thinkorswim, the gray area right here. This would have been the pre-market yesterday. And if you look at the time up here, it'll tell you exactly what time it was. So in the gray area here, you can see we're at 921 at that time frame. This is our normal trading session across here. And then our gray area, this is whenever we went into the after hours trading. And now just for fun, let's scroll and see what the stock did after hours. And now we're looking at the after hours session. And let's see what what happened here pretty much just went sideways and it's starting a nice upward trajectory and hopefully this is going to continue on today. And to close today's video, let's answer the last question. When should I take profits on AMC? The AMC short squeeze in January covered 14 trading sessions and went from $3 to $20 and back down to $5. The important thing to remember is that as fast as it went up, it came back down. And if you hold on too long, you will be leaving a lot of profits on the table or worse, taking some sizable losses. Our current short squeeze started at $12 and over eight sessions, it has skyrocketed all the way up to $72. And I'm expecting this short squeeze to be even more powerful than last time. And when it falls, it will likely come crashing down at a very fast pace. So here's what I'm doing. I'm watching the trading volume like a hawk. On the last short squeeze, the volume in over 1.25 million shares on the biggest trading day. And I think this short squeeze will be even bigger because the hedge funds are holding strong and have not cracked yet. So I want to be out when I see the volume and price coming down quickly. As always, my goal is to give as much value as I can, and I hope you see that my channel is all about teaching how to invest and not hyping stocks with a bunch of hot air and useless information. If you learned something today, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. If you want to take your investing to the next level, join our Patreon community. And don't forget to grab two free stocks from Weeble worth up to $1,850 using the link down below. And once you get your free stocks, track them on my free portfolio manager at jerryromine.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.